In Photoshop, the Filter Custom is one of the most powerful filters we have. First of all, I go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filter. This one will convert the background into a editable filter layer. Then I will go down to Filter, Other and Custom, and the user interface of Custom will load shortly. It may look complicated because there are a lot of numbers in it, but the simple substance of it is that left, right, top and bottom, they have to balance. So you see that if, for example, I type a number here in this box, I'm going to type the number 3, I have to balance this value on the other side and I can choose whether I want to balance it in the opposite cell or in another cell. So if I type here, for example, negative 3, that's what the custom filter will do. It will increase the contrast and shift the pixels towards a specific direction. In this case, it's diagonally. You see that I can also change the value and balance the value instead of uh, typing a negative 3 in one cell, I can say negative 1 in one cell, negative 1 in another cell, and negative 1 in another cell. As long as the total rounds up to the amount that I have added on the other side, that will work. Once I press OK, the filter is applied to the picture. You see that immediately the result is very visible on the hair. I like this one a lot to enhance the hair. If I don't like the filter to be applied to all the parts of the pictures, for example, the pores on the front, I can decide to just go to my smart filter layer mask, select it, and just pick my black brush. And with the black brush, I can paint away whatever I don't want to keep. In this case, I'm going to take one of the new brushes uh, introduced in uh, Photoshop CS6. It's this one, a 45 uh, pixel kind of a cloud uh, brush. If you hover the mouse uh, onto it, it will say per stroke brightness variance. I like this one a lot. I'm going to make it uh, much larger. And then with my Wacom tablet, I'm going to start painting on the picture and remove the custom filter wherever I want to remove it. Whatever is painted in black now will remove the custom filter. As you can see, the response is quite slow because I'm working on a very large picture taken with my Hasselblad camera, which is 114 megabyte size of picture. So you can imagine how large is this picture. So basically I will remove the effect to all the parts that I don't want to become crispy. I want to preserve a smooth skin, but I will leave it whenever I want to make a more contrasting and sharp area. Now this is a before and this is a after. Before and after. 